Hi guys, this is problem 3-2. This is the one that we did in class that worked okay on Friday when the parking lot in Prasix, but the share my screen kept going off during class today. So I decided to work it out again and record it and post that. Okay, so what I did is I typed in the originating entries. These are the ones that have the dates for problem 3-2. I'll go ahead and I'll post the picture in a separate thing in case you don't have a book yet. All right, and then we need to do the adjusting journal entries. I'm starting with the numbers that they gave us. So we're starting with the numbers they gave us down at the bottom first. All right, property taxes for the current year due to be paid by April 1st of next year. The company has not paid or recorded its $2,300 property taxes for the current year. All right, so that one is property tax expense. And property tax payable. Y'all are gonna have to excuse my typos. They're just gonna stay. Twenty-three hundred dollars. Right, let me do that. I will do this because that drives me crazy. All right, the second one. $302 December utility bill has not been recorded or paid. So we're going to have utility expense and utility payable for the 302. All right, the third one. Salaries accrued but not paid total 927. So we need to accrue salary expense salary payable for the 927. All right, four, travel cost reports indicate that 787 of the $900 advance has been used to pay for travel expenses by company personnel. All right, I put that $900 advance down here into travel advance, and that has now been used up. Okay, so you need to credit the travel advance and debit travel expense or something along those lines for the 787 that's been used up. All right, the fifth one. The office supplies account had a balance of 129 on January 1st. A physical count on December 31st showed 174 office supplies on hand. Okay, so we need to do a little bit of calculating for that one. And I'm going to do it down here below. All right, we had, we had a beginning balance, they told us, of 129 I bought $480 worth up here. Okay, so what I started with plus what I added minus what's left and that that will tell me what I used okay so I need to take it out of office supplies and move it over to supplies expense so debit office supplies credit supplies expense and it's going to be the 129 plus 480 minus 174, $435. All right, the sixth entry. On January 1st, the buildings account and the store equipment account had balances of $100,000 and $65,000 respectively. The buildings are expected to have a 20 year useful life and an $8,000 residual value. Store equipment is expected to have a 10 year life and a $2,000 residual value. They are being appreciated using the straight line method. And these were bought on January 1st, so they've had them all year. So we don't have to worry about prorating. So we're going to have depreciation expense, accumulated depreciation, and we have to calculate it. For the building, it's going to be. a hundred thousand dollars minus 
8,000 divided by 20. For the equipment, it's going to be 65,000 minus 2,000 divided by 10. All right, so add those two up, and I'm just going to do one entry for the total. Seven, income tax rate is 30% on current income and it's payable in the first quarter of next year. Pre-tax income of the company before adjustments is $27,749. All right, so this is income tax expense and income tax payable. And it is going to be $27,749 times 0.3. Okay, so I think we did those on Friday, and I think those went okay, but here they are again. All right, then I'm going to move up here, and I'm going to do the remainder of these journal entries. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so the office supplies we already did. Um, you know what, I'm going to do these like this. I'm going to put an 8... A nine, a ten, an eleven, twelve, and a thirteen. We already did the travel advance. Okay, so that way I can just keep going with my numbers. All right, so eight. Let's remember what happened in eight. I paid rent on February the first. It was one year's worth of rent, and I put the whole thing into rent expense. But really, only 11 months have gone by. So I need to take some of this out of rent expense and move it to prepaid rent. So I'm going to have a debit to prepaid rent. It's going to come out of rent expense. And it's going to be one month's worth because that's all that's left. So $300. All right, nine. Okay, I had a note here. What happened on March 1st? I just borrowed some money. Okay, I borrowed $10,000. I didn't write this stuff in here. I borrowed $10,000. It was a one-year note, and the interest rate was 12%. Okay. So they put the entire amount into interest. However, this came out on March 1st, so the whole year has not gone by yet. So this is actually, I probably calculated it out earlier. This is actually a year's worth, okay? So it should be $100 a month, and we've got two months left to go. So what I need to do is take this out of interest expense and put it into prepaid interest All right and it should be two months worth of interest all right interest was twelve hundred dollars for a 12 month period of time That equals a hundred a month and then times two months. Okay. Ten. Ten, I bought the office equipment and I took out a note. So I think on this one, I needed to accrue interest 
and also record depreciation. Okay, so let's do the interest first. So we have interest expense and interest payable. And for this one, it's going to be the $12,000 note times the 12% interest times, when did I do this? March 1st? No, May 1st. So May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So eight months times eight out of 12 months. So $960 in interest expense needs to be accrued. All right, then I also have to record depreciation. So depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation. All right, it's going to be the cost of 15 minus a $1,500 salvage value divided by 10 years. So we should have equal 15,000 minus 1,500 divided by a 10. And I'm forgetting one more thing. This is thirteen fifty per year. Here, let me do that. This equals thirteen fifty per year. But I did this May first, so May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, eight months. I don't know why I had to count that again. Um, so I need to actually multiply that by eight over twelve as well. I hope that's right, but hopefully you get the gist. All right, 11, I did prepaid insurance and cash. So I need to do insurance expense and take it out of prepaid. And it has been, we did that May 31st. So June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So seven months have gone by. At twenty dollars a month. I think I could have done that in my head, but oh well. All right, the twelfth one. I sold some land and they gave me a note receivable in return. All right, so I need to accrue some interest on it, 10% interest. So I'm gonna have interest receivable and interest revenue. And it's going to be the $7,000 times the 10% interest times August, September, October, November, December, five out of 12 months. So I'm gonna say 292. All right, 13. On the 13th, we were paid some rent revenue in advance. All right, this was eight months worth in advance. Okay, so since this is eight months worth, 
I can't recognize all of it as rent revenue. So I've got to take it out of rent revenue and move it over to unearned rent revenue. All right, this is going to be the 960 divided by eight months and then times October, November, December. Three, wait. Well, three months have been earned, so there's five months left. I don't remember how I did it during class. You might want to like just double check it. So 960 times five over eight. And the way I did the last one. All right. I hope they're mostly same. I don't, I think we did three months here instead of five earlier today. I don't recall, but I would double check that. Okay. Hopefully that helps.